again, my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 11th of March, 2019. Just read an article on HuffPost, posted on the 11th of March, 2019. Written by Mary Puppenfuss, that's P-A-P-E-N-F-U-S-S. -S. Title, Fox News strongly condemns Jean Pirro's attack on Representative Iran Omar. The Council of American Islamic Relations. Weren't they listed as a terrorist organization? Huh? Anyway, is demanding Pura be fired after she said Omar's Rehab may be antithetical to the Constitution? Fox News on Sunday said the network strongly condemned Jean Pirro's stunning Islamophobic attack on Representative Iman Omar, Democrat Minnesota, huh? Minnesota's a rat's nest that is desert mud flaps. The Fox News host said on Saturday that Omar wears her hiyab because the Quran tells women to cover so they won't get molested. She also said the lawmaker's religious dress may be antithetical to the Constitution. The First Amendment guarantees religious freedom and free speech rights. Well, the First Amendment no longer really even exists. I mean, my free speech rights have been taken away by BoobTube, by GoFundMe, by PayPal. Statement from Fox News. We strongly condemn Jean Pirro's comments about Representative Ilan Omar. They do not reflect those of the network. And we have addressed the matter with her directly. Statement from Jean Pirro. I've seen a lot of comments about my opening statement from Saturday's night show, and I did not call Represent Omar an American. My intention was to ask a question and start a debate. But of course, because one is Muslim does not mean you don't support the Constitution. I invite Represent Omar to come on my show any time to discuss all the important issues facing America today. Mm -hmm. Yashir Al, statements from Fox News and at Judge Jean Pirro re her commentary about Iran in, that was widely condemned as Islamophobic. Fox offered no details about any possible consequences for Pirro. There was no immediate response from Omar. The hijab attack was part of Pirro's questioning of whether Omar's criticism of Israel shows her adherence to Sharia law. Hey, Jean, come on. Of course she's adhering to Sharia law. All true followers like Barack Hussein Obama adhere to Sharia law. Why do you think he took off his rings? when he celebrated the Muslim holidays, huh? The Council on American Islamic Relations, the largest Muslim civil rights organization in the U.S., demanded that Fox News fire Pirro. Quote, such an open and un-American expression of religious bigotry should be rejected by any media outlet seeking even a modicum of credibility. See our National Executive Director, Nehal Awad, said in a statement provided to HuffPost, Gene Shiro should be fired and Fox News should apologize to its viewing audience. Pakistan American Husfa Kamal, a producer on the special report with Brett Baer, reminded Pirro that she actually works with Muslims at Fox News. Well, actually, it's a lot worse than that. I attached a couple of links you want to take a look at it? You're going to see that Saudi Prince Alawid bin Talal owns, well, I think the third largest shares of Fox News. And oh, by the way, he's the second largest owner of Twitter. Huh? Are you sort of getting the clue? You see, this is all part of their initial plan. Barack Hussein Obama, he was the spearhead that infiltrated our country. And now we got these desert mud flaps running around Congress. Huh? Soon they're going to be in the Senate. What the hell? We had one in the White House for eight years. Folks, wake up. Wake up. We have been taken over by the Muslims, by Saudi Arabia. And what do they believe in? 
They believe in the Quran, the letter of the Quran. Lay the sword against the neck of the infidel. And we got Trump kissing their ass. Huh? Absolutely insane. You can't make this shit up, folks. Saudi Prince Arweed bin Kural, the largest shareholder. How much you want to bet he owns a big piece of the other mainstream media outlets as well? Can you not see what's happening? Huh? They want the return of the Ottoman Empire. For, that's what they want. That's what this is all about. That's what it's always been about. That's the dream of the king who died, who put Barack Hussein Obama into power. You think not? Think whatever the hell you like. Read the article. Open the links. You'll think a whole lot differently. Thanks for listening. You want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. King Abdullah, if he were alive, would be in ecstasy.